Hi, I'm Michelle Miller, and I'm the clinical nutritionist here at Physiologic. I want to take a few minutes to go through our in-body composition scale. So this is a scale that's based on bioimpedance. It's picking up on the current of water in your body, and it's basically able to differentiate between muscle and fat based on how fast that current can move through each tissue. So when you stand on this, you just have to be barefoot. You're going to keep your clothes on. It's already calculated to take one pound off for body body clothing, and then you just have to hold onto the arms. You're gonna stand on it nice and still for about 30 seconds, and then it prints out a report sheet. And this is really essential to our work here because this is able to break down pounds of muscle, pounds of water, and pounds of fat, and also where the distribution of those uh, different elements are in your body. So from this, we're able to see what your current weight is, uh, how many pounds of muscle you have, and where that muscle's uh, distributed. We're able to see how many total pounds of fat you have and then also your percent body fat, which is really important. So if I'm working with a client and they want to be getting leaner, they want to be uh, creating a healthy uh, body composition, we want to make sure that if they're losing weight, it's not muscle. And using this machine, we're able to see that. Uh, we're also able to make sure they're not use, losing too much fat too soon, where maybe their metabolism would start to slow down long term. Um, we're also able to see the hydration balance in this. So we can easily tell if someone's hydrating enough, but also if they are retaining too much water. Um, and that's this, that's this marker down here, the extracellular water compared to your total body water. So just to review this, we have total weight, total muscle, total fat, BMI, percent body fat, we have the breakdown of different muscle throughout the body, and then we have a great hydration marker. At the bottom, we're able to graph out changes we see over time. And then last but not least, we have a visceral fat measurement. And this is fat surrounding the internal organs. So this is the most dangerous type of fat. And it's, the level is based on your current uh, amount around those organs. So we like to see this below 10. After that point, I don't mind if it's at 9 or if it's at 2, but we definitely know for healthy organ function, we want it below 10. And then we also have a basal metabolic rate. So this is based off of each pound of muscle at rest is going to burn a certain amount of calories. So this number is directly correlated with how many pounds of muscle you have. If you want to increase your basal metabolic rate, you just want to increase your muscle, and we'll be able to check if you're doing that from time to time, checking in on the in-body.